Hey guys, so today we're gonna have a little bit of a longer video because not in well, not only am I going to review a face mask in it, my one that my last one from when I went to Koreatown would be my cucumber one. I'm also going to be doing a makeup look. So we're gonna do a full face mask and a makeup look. Today is gonna be an interesting one. Alright, um, so, while we have the face mask on, I'm going to be showing y'all what I got as a haul from Walmart for today's video. Sorry, I literally just got back from Walmart, um, like... Two, three minutes ago, I walked in the door, and I came and I sat down, and I'm starting to film. So, a little bit hot. Y'all are gonna see me munching, y'all are gonna see me drinking a lot of water, because it is really hot in California. The weather has decided to do a little bit of a strike, and it's gotten really hot. So let me grab my water. I don't know how terrible that looked on camera don't particularly care and no I'm not using my headset today because let me put the volume up so I think y'all can hear me a little better I'm doing a full makeup look and I need to be able to have my hands free for this mirror um, and when I have my headphones on I'm constantly messing with them so Juicy. It got my arm. <laughs> Alright, let's start this cucumber face mask, huh? Ooh, that'll feel really nice. Okay, so it says... To apply it on face and stretch it to even. And you're supposed to do this with a clean face. But you know... I don't got time for that. I don't know if I'm going to work or not yet today, because, you know, as many hours as I've had, work is killing me slowly, which I might have a story time from work for y'all while we wait on this mask, once I can get it un unfolded. Why do they fold it so complicatedly? Probably not act in all actuality. It's probably really easy to unfold and I'm just stupid. But there we go. You just gotta find an itch. Now my hands are covered in goop. So, yes, I'm going to leave this recording. I'm going to go wash up really quickly, and then we're going to check the time. And in about 10, 15 minutes, we're going to take this off. Because it says between 10 and 20. I don't want to make an hour-long video today. So, hold on and let me go clean up.
and I'm back. I'm trying not to fall off my bed. <laughs> this is my filming site currently, is my bed. So, yeah. Um, so, hold on, let me check the time in a tiny little screen. One twelve. Okay. So at about one twenty two, we're gonna take this off. I needed makeup wipes. I've been using mine to get clean after work and get the dirt off my face. So I got two things of makeup remover from Neutrogena. It's their purple pack, which I don't know what that is supposed to do. I guess it's supposed to be really calming at nighttime for your skin. Um, but you know, that's what we're going with for makeup wipes right now. And then my munchies. These are brownie bites from Walmart and they are so good. Totally recommend them. I lost my water. There it went. Um, I got this little NYX rainbow palette, which this will give you guys a hint as to what kind of a makeup look we're doing today. What kind of inspiration I got going. And two more things. I got this concealer. I was looking for a color corrector, and this is the closest thing that Walmart carries is this concealer by NYX that's supposedly used by professionals. I don't know if I'm going to use it today or not because I don't quite know what it does yet. I'm going to have to look a little bit more into it because I know that there are some that do color correction. But I don't know if that's what this is because it says it's studio photogenic. So I'm going to look into this one a little bit more. This one will be used in a later video. And then I have a matte lip liner. It's just a kind of very neutral color. Hold on, let me peel back the top for you guys so that you guys can see it. I need to open it anyways, so perfect excuse. Um, I don't like opening these kinds of packages, but you know. There it goes. Oop, no, I need my cap. It stole my cap off of the pen. That's a necessary item. I'm gonna have to get a sharpener, but here's the actual pen. And this is what it looks like color-wise against my skin. Figured it's kind of a neutral one, so that's a good one. And then... First time opening the NYX palette. We might swatch, we might not. I have yet to decide. But it'll give me a good idea of how various colors look against each other. Um, and this makeup look has not been practiced at all. Has not been perfected at all. This is a raw filming of a makeup look. But here's the color palette up close. Very pretty. Oop. <laughs> very pretty colors. Lots of variations of colors and stuff, so this will give me a good chance to use it. And then I'll go ahead and open the concealer, even though I'm not going to use it right now. And give you all a little bit better of a look at it. Hold on. So here it is. It's this kind of green color. Here's the label for it. I'm trying to get it on camera and I'm really bad at this. It's okay. Y'all don't have to be professionals to film videos. You just gotta try. <laughs> and it says CW20 or 12 on the bottom there. Um, yeah. I'm gonna open these because I have a feeling I'm gonna need them. And I'm opening other stuff anyway, so why not? You know? And I was just looking through my stuff and I'm like, you know, for this makeup look today, I only need two things. And I can do it and not have a problem getting it done. And what do I do? I go to the store and I buy 
five things plus a pack of brownies for my mom. Six things. So, y'all don't trust me with money. <laughs> um, got a little bit longer before this thing comes off. So, I'm going to start pulling this stuff off of my makeup wheel. Uh, let's do... Let's do my more natural highlight today, I think. And, uh, or well, this is bronzer, but let's do our more natural one for my skin tone. Um, I'm aware that this look will not work for everyone. I'm aware it won't work for every skin tone. And for those of you with darker skin, I am really sorry. Y'all are welcome to try it with different colors and products and stuff and with different kinds of products. And just use this as a basis and an inspiration. You guys are more than welcome to have at that. Unfortunately, I am the skin tone I am. So even if I'm making makeup videos, a lot of the times I can't review products that are for darker skin tones accurately because they don't fit my skin tone. And so I don't know how it would look for someone with a darker skin tone. Eyeshadow works for just about everyone. So eyeshadow is the stuff that I like to review for you guys. Um... Brands is a good thing to do, and then lip liner. You can find the same brand lip liner in a million different colors, and lip liner is a pretty universal thing. You know, darker skinned people have a little bit darker lips sometimes, so you guys just have to get a little bit of a darker color than the Alabama color that I got for my own, but it's, again, a pretty universal thing, so I like to review these things for you guys so that everyone can get a review of a product and not just have it fit one skin tone. Because that's something that I notice a lot is a lot of products tend to be geared towards one skin tone or another and they don't tend to cater towards the other one too well. They do just enough so that they aren't counted against but they don't do it well enough I don't think. So uh, three more minutes. So let me gather my makeup. It's sitting right beside me. I just have to reach over and grab the proper products. Uh, let's do this one today. Yeah, I have a makeup wheel that sits right here that my sister got me for my birthday that I'm literally just reaching over and grabbing. Hold on, though, because I gotta stand up because my brushes are at the very top and I'm a very short person. So give me a second and I'll be back in screen. Or I won't need the screen, I don't know. Um. We're gonna try this. Because that's the only way to give y'all proper reviews of stuff is for me to try it, even if I don't know how to use it. So that's what we're going to do. No, I don't set up for my videos in advance. I am a human being, y'all. I ain't no robot. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys got to put up with me a little bit today. It's just going to be a day. It's going to be one of those days that if you've lost someone you'll understand how important like the anniversary is and especially if it was someone that they weren't found the day they passed you guys understand like the gap in between the day that they actually passed and the day where they were found is a really hard time and this is the first year anniversary of that for my grandmother so it's it's difficult for me right now and I'm trying to keep my attitude up and keep myself you know happy cheery go lucky it's just difficult so y'all are gonna have to put up with a little bit more of a somber me today um let's do highlight powder blush yes I think that's everything Whenever I decide to do makeup looks, I just go to my makeup wheel. It works really well. Um, and I think we're right about at that 10 minute mark. So let's go ahead and pull this baby off. 
Alright. Ooh. And y'all aren't supposed to talk with these on. You're supposed to sit and be quiet. But that doesn't work when you're filming a video, you know? <sighs> Ooh. Ooh, there's a lot of leftover excess on my face. I'm trying to pat it in. Because I think this is what you're supposed to do after you take your mask off. That's a good question. Uh, uh, pat liquid on face. I thought so. And this one's in Korean, but it's got English instructions on the back. It's really good, because the last face mask I did, if y'all didn't see my review on TikTok, it didn't have English instructions on the back. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna trash this so I don't make a mess in my bed. Because I have white sheets. And if you know me, white sheets was not the best thing for my mom to get me. And no, I don't edit these down. No, I don't do editing. So, if y'all can't hear me, I'm sorry. These things don't get edited. Like, I don't edit them at all. I just make sure you can hear me in it at some form of a volume. Yes, I have an ankle brace on. No, I did not injure myself. This is just precautionary because I injure myself so much. Um... But I figure I'll do a rainbow makeup look today because these have been really hard times lately. And I figure everyone can use a little bit of a cheer up. And so, for me, what cheers me up is makeup and family. But it's been even harder for me because I just lost one of my family a year ago at this time. So... Uh, well, not makeup cheers me up, but, you know, nature, rainbows, and all of that good stuff. And so, I figured, you know what, we're going to do a look inspired off one of the things that kind of cheers me up, calms me down. And it's kind of the brightness in a storm, right? A rainbow, according to the Bible, and... If you're not religious, then it's your choice not to believe this. But according to the Bible, God made rainbows so that he wouldn't drown the world again after what happened with Noah and his family and him having to drown the world because of their sins. So. And even if you're not religious, you know, a rainbow means it stopped raining. Even if it just stopped raining for a little bit, it means that it has stopped raining. So, there's that for you, you know? This is like our way of saying this storm that is happening in the world right now will pass. We will get through this together. And that's what we're going to do. And so, I'm doing my best to help out in that. And I hope you all continue to do your best, and I hope everyone is okay at home and spending time with their families, you know? I am incredibly unlucky. I am an essential worker. I work for FedEx. Okay, so we're going to start with my hydrating primer base from Quench. or by, It's called Quench by Tarte. It's really hard to see, and yes, ignore my grubby nails. <laughs> I've been cleaning my hands. I swear I have. It just doesn't show. Because of work. And I know I'm blaming it on my work, but you know, working with packages, that'll happen. And it just really takes a dab of this thing. And you can get majority. I don't think you can quite get all of it. Oh yeah, you can. It literally just takes a little dot. Y'all. And I just covered my whole face. You know? So, there's my primer. Now, 
This is the love yourself step. But if you can't afford it and you love yourself in a different way, that's fine. You know, this is just something that I got from Ipsy that I got very lucky with. Um, and I received it from Ipsy in one of my last grab bags that was not full-size products a little while ago. And so I'm going to use it. I'm going to take advantage of it, you know? And this is my CoverGirl makeup. This is a super old bottle and it doesn't match my skin tone. It matches my summer skin tone. Um... Hold on, because one of my friends just texted me. And they don't do that very often. Um, unless something's wrong. So, gonna keep an eye on my phone, y'all. So, this is... Yeah, it takes a fair bit of this. Um, why? What happened? I'm not going to say what's going on with my friend, but I'm going to say that there's a very si serious situation with my friend right now. So no, I'm not going to get off my phone. No, I'm not going to pay 100% attention to you guys. Because... For me, friends and family will always come first, you know? So, yes, I'm going to have my phone open and I'm going to be looking at it and I'm going to be paying attention to that as much as I'm paying attention to you guys, if not more, because that's just how I am. That's my personality, you know? And if it gets to the point where she wants to call, I'm going to stop the video. And that's what it comes down to. And that'll be what you guys get for a makeup look today. Because that's how I am with my friends and my family. You know, if y'all need me and you're my friend in real life, or you're my online friend that I've texted a million times and I'm really close to, you know, then I'm going to put you first. I'm going to put you above everything else. That's what it comes down to, you know? And I think that's how everyone should live, but that's not how everyone lives. And I'm well aware of that fact. But, you know, y'all gotta put yourself and you, those you care about before everything. Alright, um, I'm not going to reveal my friend's information. That's not right for me to be doing on camera. It's not my place. So we're not going to do that. But I am going to say her dad has been an asshole. And is being one currently. And so, I'm going to try and take care of her. Because that's the kind of person I am. Like, my friends... This particular friend calls me mama. I am her mama bird. I'm her mama bear. And to some friends I'm mom. To some friends I'm like their child. Like, I'm really close with all my friends. And I'm very blessed in that aspect. And I'm well aware that I'm very blessed in that aspect. You know? But I won't ever complain about my friends. Now, if you're not my friend, and you're trying to do something stupid, oh yeah, I'm gonna complain. After you yell at me, no. 
do don't you dare I'm going to go ahead and let her reply to that, but, um, this looks like it might be a video that it's cut a little bit short, and so it might just end up being the face mask review and a bit of foundation and concealer, because that's the way that this situation is progressing with her, and that's fine. Like, if she needs me, I am 100% there for her. You know, so this is my um, Fit Me Maybelline collection concealer because my sister got it and it didn't fit her skin tone, but it fit mine because she's got a little bit more olive in her skin than I do. And just in general, I need to run it down my nose. You know, you're supposed to do a little three prong flower. I try and do it. Sometimes I do it as you can. Yeah, she really has it rough right now, guys. Um... And she's still underage, and it's really not my place to say anything about this situation, so I'm not going to, you know? Um, how did I get concealer on my hand? You know what? It's fine. I covered up the beauty mark. And no, I don't do eyebrows. I got very lucky with my natural eyebrows. I don't have to do them. You know? So, no, I don't include doing eyebrows into my makeup look. I've never had to do eyebrows in my life. I just kind of use my own. You know? Uh, and this is what Flawless Kevin and I, because of him, called the boop sauce step. You boop it all over your face. Very heavily boop it all over your face. If you're like me, and you're breaking out really bad right now, because of stress. Oh, I got that one in my hairline that I almost missed. I have a little mole that sits right in my hairline. That it's like, oop, almost missed it. Must cover it. You know? And I think this is what you're supposed to do, is... Put a lot on your chin. And yes, I am aware that I am holding the mirror up so y'all can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry, that's the only way I can see. No. said something that I don't know if it'll help or hinder her um so <sighs> hmm 
My friend just got it really rough right now, and so I don't know if she's going to want to call or not. If she does, it's 100% fine. I'm going to be there for her. I'm going to cut this video off. But, you know. For now, we're going to keep it going. Until she says she needs me. And as soon as she says she needs me, that's it. She gets my full attention, you know? And y'all, I am here for any of you at any point. Like, I wanted to make this a fun, lighthearted video, but obviously that's not what it's meant to be. Um, so we're gonna go with this. I am a pansexual living with my mom who thinks that there is only bisexual and only guy or girl. And there's no in-between on anything else. There's bisexual, gay, and straight. And there's guy or girl. And that's it. I love my mom, but she refuses to acknowledge the rest of my community. You know? So, that hurts. And if any of you guys are in a situation where you don't feel accepted, you don't feel okay, I'm here for you. I'm gonna be here for you. And you got other people in your life who will be here for you too. Okay? You know, that's just that's how it goes sometimes. And it really sucks. And I know it really sucks. You know? You know, I'm going out of order here because I'm distracted. Okay. I just got a little bit of makeup on my pants. It's okay. Yeah, makeup wipes for a reason. You know? Uh, bronzer is the next step. I do a full look and then powder. And then eyes and lips. I think I helped. I think I helped. You know. I might be wrong, but I'm trying here. This little girl means a lot to me. And she is very she's younger than me. And she's had a lot in her life that's gone wrong. And so I wanna be one of her rays of sunshine, you know? Alright, so I don't know if you guys saw how I just did that, but you go around the edge of your hair. Suck in your cheek. And then do it there. And then blend to hell. And back. And you do part of your jawline because it gives you a sharper looking jaw, you know? Jaws that can cut steel. <laughs> And you do it in the hollow of your cheek, too. I'm not quite sure why you're supposed to, but you're supposed to. I think it's to make your face look thinner, is what it is. If I remember right. Okay, she stopped texting. So, we're gonna leave my phone to the side. And yeah, I don't have a very big face, so I can blend from one line right to the other and be okay. Not everyone has that privilege. I 
they didn't do a good job brown turning this side. Or I did too good of a job bronzing the other side, depending upon how you see it. But I'm going to call it as the first. Okay. And then it's just lots of blending. Blending is an essential step to doing makeup. Because if you don't blend, it just doesn't look right at all. You know? So you must blend your makeup out. And you just blend it with the same brush. And then I, for my nose, take this little brush. It's a very short, fine pointed brush and put bronzer on it. And blip. And it goes down either side of my nose. From your eyebrow to the tip of your nose. Okay? That is how you contour a nose. Everyone is just like, contour your nose now. And not a lot of people realize how you do it. You go from the eyebrow down. And... I wear glasses, so y'all are going to see me putting on a little bit of heavier eye makeup. Because those of us with glasses, our glasses kind of block our makeup a little bit when we do it. So, whenever we do makeup, we have to do a little bit of a heavier makeup look around our eyes. Because that's the only way you see it. Um, so that's why I do heavier makeup. There. Where did my blush brush go? You know, this is why you keep everything in one spot. Because otherwise you're going to lose stuff. As it is, I forgot something, but I didn't lose it. Uh, I need to get a new powder brush. That's right, this is my powder brush. Forgot about this. This is my blush brush. Just a new color brush. My other one that I was using for bronzer is from Wet n Wild. And then a random one that I'm not quite sure where it came from. You know? You get those sometimes. Just something fine tipped. And then blush is right above where you put that bronzer before is where blush goes. And then above that is highlight. It is a layered process and then you blend it all together. And you kind of angle it the same way you angled your bronzer, because that's how it's natural. And then, same thing for the other side. Now, your blush is done. Just make sure you apply it a little bit heavy, because when you blend it out, it does disappear. And then you do your highlight, which... I have my fan brush for it somewhere. Hold on and let me find it. I'm blind. I can't see to find it. Uh, there's this little fan looking brush that you use that as soon as I find it, I'll show y'all. This is my blending brush for my cheek. I love this thing. Um, did I grab it? I grabbed all of my brushes. Did it fall? No, and I'm not sitting on it. I'm not that fat that I wouldn't feel it. I get I'm a chunky, chunky girl, but still, it's here somewhere. Hold on, let me find my brush. You know, this is what happens when you don't organize your stuff. This is why I try and keep everything organized, even though I fail. Um... And we're not going to knock anything off. And you know, with the fact that I'm in my bedroom and I have better lights because I opened my curtain, that's the best thing that I can recommend is natural light for makeup. Um, 
natural, natural, natural. Go to a room with a lot of sunlight. Found it. I found it. <sighs> okay. And concealer, you guys are going to notice I didn't put that away. Concealer is something that you can use the entire time because it's kind of like your eraser. You know? You don't like how you did something? That's fine. Just put a little bit of concealer on it and it'll hide it. You screwed up something? That's fine. Concealer is perfect for that, you know? So concealer is like your eraser. That's the way that I like to describe it. Is concealer is your eraser. And with highlight, you put a little bit on your brush. And then right above where you put that blush right here on your jawline or on your cheekbone is where you put your highlight and it goes to follow the angle of your cheekbone whatever the angle of your cheekbone is is the angle that your highlight should go i happen to have a very angled cheekbone from what i can tell and so that's why my highlight goes like it does okay that's done I'm setting everything on top of my brownies so I don't eat them. Because it's very tempting to just nom. And I'm not trying to nom while I'm doing makeup. I don't think that looks good. Okay. I don't truly care how fat I look on camera, but still. You try, most days, to not overindulge. And I guarantee I'll end up eating ice cream in a bit. Or I'll eat brownies instead of the ice cream. So I'm trying to not overdo it, you know? So you dip your brush in the powder. And this is a very old one from Maybelline that I'm using because it's what I happen to have and I can't afford to get more right now. And it's still mostly full. Um, so you go ahead and grab that and do that. And then everywhere on your face. Be careful not to get it in your eyes. And I recommend getting a better brush for this than what I got. This is just what I got. This is what I can afford right now. I need to get new brushes for a couple of things. Like I need to get a new eyeshadow brush set to make up for the fact I don't have a couple of brushes. Um, I need to get several things, you know? And... This will help you with blending. And if you're still not quite satisfied for with the way that everything blended, that's when you blend it with your blending brush and then reset it, you know? I myself happen to be rather happy with the way that everything has turned out so far. So we're not going to do that. Alright. So, next step is going to be lining my lips. So I'm just going to pop the top off of this. And apparently not put it on the end because it doesn't fit and lipstick is going to be my last step and if y'all couldn't tell from this i'm doing a very rainbow inspired look my blush was just my red this is more red it kind of accentuates it and i have an orange lipstick so this kind of goes with that you don't realize how full your lips are until you have to line them but you just draw like with a pencil an outline the outer edges of your lips and my mom she has a brown one of these except for hers is not for lip lining hers is for eye eyebrows because she draws hers on um because as much as she is blessed with the same eyebrows i have she shaves hers off because that is just her preference she doesn't like having big eyebrows you know and 
Preference is everything. If y'all want to learn how to draw eyebrows, I suggest you go find that elsewhere. I will give you the rest of this makeup look, but I am very blessed with very good natural brows, so I don't have to. Okay, next step will be eyeshadow itself. So we're going to use this palette that I just bought, and we're going to use the purples, the blues, and the greens. And the yellow, I'm actually going to steal off of my other palette because it's a very, very light yellow that looks almost white. I think it's yellow anyways. To me, that looks very golden. And that's going to be the color for my or um, for my inner eye. Um, Y'all are free to do what you want. That's just how I'm going to go ahead and play it. And the way I'm going to apply this is going to be very different than most big time YouTubers. Because I don't have a white to cut my eyes with. I don't have um, many things to do. This is like what I am limited to. Eyebrow or eyeshadow wise. And this one is technically an eyebrow brush. That I have been using for an eyeshadow brush. Y'all. That is how desperate I am. <laughs> You know, so, you just make do with what you got some days. And we're going to use blue as a base, because blue is a very good base. And we're going to go ahead and use, um, let's use this one for our base, because I think we're going to stay in these three for our colors. So we're going to use this one for our base, and just get enough on there. It doesn't need a lot. It looks like it's very pigmented. And then flip it all over your eyebrow. Or your eye... Sh eye bleh, your eyelid. And I'm going to start doing color themed eyeshadow looks and eye looks. And... The occasional full face look if I happen to have a good amount of that color, you know? But right now, besides when we're at home, we don't need full makeup. And most of us at home don't care, honestly. So, you know, there's that. I am doing this. Because I can, I want to, and why the hell not, you know? We're in quarantine, it's not like we're getting out anytime soon, so I might as well embarrass myself on camera. <laughs> this will probably come off before I go into work tonight, if I even make it in. Because I just don't feel it going. Because they have been killing me at work. Alright. And I go to right up under my eyebrows. And you gotta make sure there's plenty on there. That's why I'm doubling down on applying it. Because I wanna make sure there's plenty on there. Because as much as there's gonna be coverage of it with the next two colors, you know... something and I'm a monolid I have very different eyelids than the rest of the world so the way that I do my eye makeup is because of that and most those of Asian descent have monolids a couple of those of Native American descent do oh I've just stained my brush no oh my brushes are going to be stained by the end of this so I have a feeling um but this was just a very simple little brush. Next one we're going to use is going to be... Go ahead and do purple. And do this. Um, but model lids have very different eyelids than the rest of the world. We don't have that cut crease that you guys have that's very easy to follow. We have pretty much nothing there to follow. 
So we make our own cut creases and we do our own thing. So mine is going to be very different. This is more of a pinky color than I thought it was. And this is the kind of thing that I normally do with very natural colored eyeshadows. It's just line straight down and then fill in the back half. And they're both very pigmented colors, so it doesn't take much. I'm just doubling down because I am, again, a glasses wearer. We do have to wear our makeup a little bit more heavily on our eyes than most people. Um, so... And that's what I'm doing. And you're gonna notice I don't use fake lashes, I don't use fake anything. Eyelashes I am not blessed with. I just see no point in wearing something fake, you know? You got real ones. God blessed you with real ones. Whatever deity you choose to believe blessed you with real eyelashes. So, take advantage of them. A little bit of mascara goes a long way, you know? And we're going to do the same on the other eye. And again, I go all the way up and all the way down on my eye. And it may not look the best now, but I have faith it will turn out. And for our green, I think we're going to go ahead and do the little bit darker green than the lime it has. Um, because I don't think the other one will show up like I was hoping it would. Now that I'm looking at these two colors together. So we're going to do something a little bit different than I wanted to do originally. And do the little bit darker of a green. And if you get some in your eyebrows, it's fine. Just wipe it away. If you have to draw on your eyebrows, don't draw them on until after eyeshadow, I recommend. Because at least then you can cover it up, you know? Right. We're going to use this little angled one, which I think is another eyebrow one that I'm using for eyeshadow. And we're going to dip into our really dark one. So we've used this and this. So we're going to go ahead and dip into our darker of the greens. And go along the bottom of it. Hold on. Now I'll show you guys what I'm going to go right here. And that's going to be our green. Monolids don't do eye makeup very often because, you know, when we open our eyes, it disappears. But, I'm trying to do a little bit of eye makeup. And honestly, I don't think it's turned out the worst. I don't think it's turned out the best. But I don't think it's turned out the worst. I don't recommend doing this unless it's all one color. Or all natural colors. For the style that I'm putting it on. Just because, you know, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I could have layered this better. But I didn't. And so we're going to go with it. 
and everything is super pigmented. Thank the Lord, or whatever deity. I ain't gonna bash other religions here, that's not what I'm here for, you know? Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and fix the blue on one because it's a little bit lighter than I like. Um, a little bit too light for my taste right there, but you know, you guys are happy with how it's colored in so far. It's awesome. Go ahead and Skip over my little fixation mistake, you know? Okay. So, those are my three colors that I'm using there. And then, out of this palette, my brother got this for me Christmas or for my birthday. We're gonna use my little fine tipped brush and we're gonna go with the very light color that I'm calling yellowy gold. Y'all can call it whatever you wish. And we're gonna go ahead and go under our eyebrows and then wipe away any excess. It gives it a little bit of a shine because it is a little bit of a shimmery color. But you know, it highlights your eyebrows and that's what you want to do. And then we're going to do it the same on the other side. And try and cover up most of the eye makeup that's up there. And then, we don't use a brush for this. We use our finger, and we take the lightest color we have available to us, and we rub it in the color, and then... Put it in the corner of your eye and shine like a queen, sweetie. Y'all, I be shining out here. And there's no such thing as too much glitter. <sighs> Let people try and take you down. Don't believe nobody. You be a queen. Or a king. I ain't discriminating. If you're a guy and you like doing makeup, go, sweetie, go. You know? I am 100% for you. And then... What am I still on? Mascara. This is a first attempt at mascara. Yeah, I'm shining. I'll show you all a little bit closer up of the makeup look when I'm finished up. And I have my glasses back on. Um, but mascara. I just got a brand new one from Ipsy. Ipsy blessed me with this. It is the Triple Shot Mascara by Siate London. And uh, no, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> Just do a little bit on your lower lashes and make sure you get your uppers. Ooh. Ooh. 
Look in between one eye and the other. That makes a big difference. Little bit of mascara goes a long way, honey. And then, same for the other one. Put a little bit too much mascara on one eyelid on one eyelash. And y'all notice how I ain't tripping out about the black that's on my face. Concealer to your eraser. I swear to god it works. And it works really well. I'm just gonna try and clean that off. Yes, I am wiping it back on skin. No, I do not care. I will get it off with a makeup wipe in a little bit. And now this is just about getting it off my eyelash. So I don't screw up my makeup look any worse. You know? I happen to like my eye makeup today. Alright. That's mascara. Done. A little bit goes a long way. And this is truly my first time messing with mascara. And I'm loving the results of it. Right, let me get a towel and clean up my hands really quickly and clean up my leg where I was wiping mascara off. trying to get the worst of the black off my face. Hold on. Don't ever lean over a mirror when you're doing this. If you're doing something to your face, do it upright. The worst thing you can be doing is leaning over because then it's all shadowed and so you're going to put it on heavier and it's not going to look as good. Okay. Eyeliner. And this is a step where your eraser comes in a lot of hand. And this is one that I got a little while ago. It is the Tattooed Waterproof by Scone. Which, I need waterproof. It ain't, it ain't proven itself quite yet. So we're going to try it again today. And then you're just going to do... A little line. It doesn't need to be anything super thick. Along your eyelid. I don't do along my waterline because I don't like to do the crayon ones or the pencil ones. If you all want to do your waterline, have at it, sweetie. I just don't tend to do it myself. I just do a little line. Enough to kind of darken your eyes out and make them look... Like you did a little something, but not enough that it actually is going to risk ruining your eye makeup that you just spent so long on. And then same to the other eye again. Some people prefer to do eyeliner before, some people prefer to do eyeliner after. I personally want to do it after so that I'm not screwing it up with the eyeshadow because I do my whole eye with eyeshadow and then towards the bottom any mistakes you made can be covered in eyeliner. And any mistakes you made at the edge of your eye with the eyeliner this is where your eraser comes in. Because I just screwed up. 
So you take it and you blep it on the area. And yes, I say blep. I don't know why. It was just something I started to do. And then you rub it on in, sweetie. And there you go. It's erased. That is why I call my concealer my eraser. It erases my mistakes. And then, for the final step, my little lipstick. This is a dose of color, and this is the old flame color. I personally love it. It's got a very pumpkin spice kind of thing to it, so if y'all want to use this around Halloween, I recommend. And it has a matte looking finish to it. Stays pretty well. And yes, I pull faces to make sure I get my corners. I ain't trying to miss my corners. And just make sure you've stayed on your lips. If you haven't, go ahead and wipe away whatever you didn't keep on your lips. And normally at this point you would um, roll your lips in and bite down on some form of a paper towel. I only have makeup wipes available to me right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do that after I exit out of this video but that's it that's your completed makeup look and honestly don't hate it so i call it a success of the day okay let me bring y'all closer so you can see now ow that's hot this is my eyeshadow Yes, there's lots of glitter. I am aware there's a lot of glitter. I am not caring that there's a lot of glitter. My lips. And the rest of my look. And that's how y'all get a um, rainbow-based makeup look going for your day out and about or for just sitting at home during quarantine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I hope that quarantine goes really well for you. And you enjoy the time with your families. And I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.